everyone, I'm Percy's person, and this is Percy, and today we're going to be answering some of your questions. The first question is from Fave You Okay, and it is, does Percy sleep on your bed at night? So yes, Percy does sleep in the bed with me. He's fine. He sleeps at the foot of the bed, so I don't roll over on him. Wise puppy. Um... Rick Sims 9026 says, does Percy get upset when strange dogs come into his territory? No, he's not usually upset. Usually he's excited to meet a dog he hasn't met yet. He's, uh, pun intended, a social butterfly. No, he gets really excited when he sees other dogs. Alexander XD 9916 asks, what happened to Percy? So, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, number one, you should follow us on Instagram. We're pretty active on it, especially now, and we do almost like micro vlogs. So, if you like to see pictures of him and know what's going on between videos, please check us out at, at Percy with Happy Young Dog. Where our name is right there, so please check it out. Um, but, anyways, what happened to Percy? Basically, if you hadn't seen on Instagram, he got his vaccinations up to date, um, and I'm not sure what happened or if the vet was a little rough or what, but he was out of it for about three days straight. He wanted me to carry him, and I did, up and down the stairs, on and off the bed, on and off the couch, um, and he's still kind of raw there. He's back to his old self now for the most part. He's still sensitive uh, at his withers where the vet shot him, but... Uh, he's his normal self now. He wants to play. He wants to run. He goes. He's coming for runs again. He's playing at nights again. So we're fine. We're probably gonna find a different vet, but he's fine now, and that's all that matters. G W S U D S asks, "How do you keep his teeth clean? Small dogs are notorious for dental problems." So for the most part, his teeth are pretty clean. He's got a little bit of plaque buildup. Um, I had get this spray that I spray, Percy, not in front of the camera, uh, that I spray in his teeth. And then after I spray that, I don't let him have any food or water, but then I'll give him a dental chew or something to chew on. So the spray kind of loosens it up and then the chew breaks it apart. And yes, papillons especially are notorious for teeth problems and it's important to at least do, make a little bit of effort to clean their teeth or else They'll have no teeth by the time they're 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, just wait a second really quick. Don't forget to check out our merch. Link is in the description. Thank you. Percy gets a treat every single time someone purchases a shirt. We got a great collection. Everything is created by me and original. All right, next question. Mahibaga32007 asks, are there teacup papillons? I have never thought of this, but no there aren't any teacup papillons. Papillons are already small. Percy's about 10 inches at the withers. The withers is the area between the shoulders at the bottom of the neck. Um, and he weighs five pounds, six ounces. He's already pretty teacup. And I've seen papillons smaller than him. So there are no teacup papillons, but papillons are already really small. Life of Pepe asks, would you get another dog? I absolutely want another dog. I will for sure get another dog. I'm just not in the right position in my life right now to get another one. That's going to depend on a lot of factors, though I will say I have been looking at breeders recently especially. But yeah, I want another one, but it probably won't happen again. I probably won't get another one within two years, two or three years. PW Corgi 2000 says Percy is so freaking cute. Thank you. Uh, does he play mind games with you? My Shih Tzu Terrier mix sure does when he wants something. Percy, he does play mind games. That's just part of having a Papillon. They are smart and they know how to manipulate you in that right way to get what they want. And you're too weak hearted to resist it. <laughs> when we eat, or when I eat, rather, he's very good. 
But then if he finds out we're going to the last bite, he'll start begging. And then you feel bad eating the last bite in front of them, so you always end up sharing that last bite with him. Ziggy Stardog asks, what's Percy's favorite type of weather? Does he go out when it rains, or does he wait till it's over to romp around in the puddles? Percy does not want anything to do with water whatsoever. He's a cat. Does not like water. <laughs> so anything water related would probably be a no. Um, he likes the sun. I think he's a sunshine dog. That's what he is. Rosemary Fall asks, Hello, after watching your videos, I decided to get a Papillon too. Great choice. Uh, so far, he's doing really well. Good to hear. But he doesn't seem to understand he's small and always tries to play with much bigger dogs. Oh, I know what that's like. <laughs> um, he's, uh, will that ever change as he gets older? He's only four months now. Was it the same with you and Percy? Yes, it is the same with me and Percy, and it always has been, and I get the feeling it always will be. They're just, they have Napoleon Syndrome. They think they're bigger than what they are. They'll go out and romp around, and sometimes you have to hold them back a little bit. Hold on, your legs are like toothpicks. I don't think you can play with this German Shepherd the way you think you can. <laughs> so, yes. That's probably something you're always going to have to deal with, but that's also part of the charm of the Papillon, let's face it. What is Percy's height after four to five years? Uh, f he is ten inches at the withers as of now, and he's five years old, which I think somebody else asked me how old he was. Yukimaru asked how old he was. He's five. He will be six in January. Sandra York asks, was it hard to house train Percy? How long did it take? I just got my second Papillon about six weeks ago. Ooh, that's exciting. Um, Percy took, he was surprisingly quick to house train. He house trained in like, I wanna say in just under a year. All right, I think that's it. Thank you to everyone who sent in questions. I love hearing your questions. Hopefully I was able to answer them. I answered them to the best of my ability. Um, don't forget to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to comment what your favorite question was or something you didn't know before watching this video. Any feedback you can give me is always helpful. So thank you for watching. Go play with your dog.